time for a change of scenery. Just like clockwork, Redmi Note 12 series is now headed for global release after their initial announcement for China back in September 2023. For the Philippines, we're expecting the Redmi Note 13, Redmi Note 13 Pro, and Pro Plus to be available in stores anytime now. Hey guys, CJ here from Yugatech, and we're gonna take a deep look at the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Let's get started. The Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G has a plastic chassis and a dual-tone glass-like rear. There are three colorways to choose from, which are Midnight Black, Aurora Purple, and the Moonlight White, which is what I have here. While the bottom part of the rear can't attract any fingerprints, the area around the camera is a fingerprint magnet. Even with the included rubber case, you can still see your prints and smudges around the camera island, so take note of that. Besides the camera sensors, you can also see the device's dual LED flashes and Redmi logo. We'll get back to that camera specs later. The device's IP68 dust and water resistance certification. Because of how thin the phone is, it's comfortable to use with just one hand even if you have small hands like me. For I.O., you've got the volume rocker and power buttons on the right side, USB Type-C charging port, a dual SIM card tray, one of the dual speakers at the bottom, while the top side has the other speaker. There's an IR blaster up top as well that you can use as a remote for your home appliances. The physical buttons are on the thinner side this time around compared to the previous models of the Note 12. I do appreciate how slim they've made the device though, so kudos to that. The Note 13 Pro Plus features a 6.67 inch Crystal Res 1.5K Flow AMOLED curved panel and has up to 120Hz refresh rate. This is one of the highlights of the new Redmi Note series and that's flagship level display. It's also got a peak brightness of 1800 nits and coin and gorilla glass Victus protection. Even when the sun is shining bright outside, you'll be able to use a smartphone and see without any problem. Color reproduction is accurate and vibrant, plus its bezels are super thin to the point they're not noticeable at all. The Note 13 Pro Plus also has TUV Rainline certification, which means it's flicker-free. And don't forget the under-display fingerprint sensor for biometric security is also here. As for sound and mentioned earlier, you've got dual stereo speakers and they're pretty loud because of its Dolby Atmos support. Mix those all together and you've got yourself a treat for viewing different forms of content. From watching Netflix, listening to your favorite playlist, to mobile gaming. Powering the device is a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Ultra, a chipset announced just last September 2023. The processor is created using the 4 nanometer process tech with its two high-performance Cortex-A715 CPUs clocked at 2.8 GHz and six power-efficient Cortex-A510 running at 2.0 GHz. This is paired with the Mali G610 MP4 GPU. Our config comes with 12 GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 512 GB of UFS 3.1 storage, but there's also an 8 GB plus 256 GB variant available. And if you feel the need for more RAM, up to 8 GB of memory extension is available for you to enable. I've played Genshin Impact and Honkai Style on this, and it's able to run both games on very high settings. It's able to run games decently, but with Game Turbo on, it makes games come out smoother than they were before. Sure, the phone heats up eventually, but it wasn't too hot to the touch. I have yet to experience any lag while I play with Game Turbo on. It does drain the battery a bit fast with it on, so keep note of that. Here's what our benchmark scores say about the device though. Moving on to cameras, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus comes with a triple ear camera setup featuring a 200 megapixel sensor and optical image stabilization. This is complemented by an 8 megapixel 2.2 ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel 2.4 macro camera. Those who own the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus will notice the striking similarities to their cameras with this one. For the selfie camera, it uses a 16 megapixel shooter. The camera shine when it comes to taking photos in well-lit environments, but the quality does drop a little bit for dimmer places. It's able to shoot in 4K at 30 FPS for rear cameras, while the front can record up to 1080p at 60 FPS. How are the cameras? Well, they're really decent. Colors don't come out too saturated as the lenses are able to capture the shades well. However, details are not as evident with the device. Grain is evident when you zoom in more as it loses its quality. Now shooting with the rear camera at, 30, at 4K at 30 FPS. This is what it looks like. This is the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus shooting at 1080p at 60 frames per second. So this is what the selfie camera looks like. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. 
The Note 13 Pro Plus runs on Xiaomi's MIUI 14 based on Android 13. Yes, you heard that right. It still uses MIUI and not the newest Hyper OS yet. Maybe it'll get an update in the future. But, like a lot of Xiaomi devices, the phone has a lot of bloatware. They are uninstallable, but remember that when you first boot up the Note 13 Pro Plus. It comes with the same nifty features that MIUI devices have, like a heart rate monitor, second screen, and floating windows. So, if you use the split screen and have two floating windows together, you can have up to four applications running all at once. This does cause the device to lag heavily, so I recommend using one floating window instead. The Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus runs on a 5000 mAh battery and comes with a very fast 120Hz hypercharge support. With that, it was able to charge the unit from 20% to 100% in less than 20 minutes. I played games, took photos, and watched videos on the device, which lasted from morning up until early evening. Not too bad, especially with its charging speed. For connectivity, it's got a dual nano SIM, an IR blaster for using it as a remote, and supports Bluetooth 5.3, 5G, Wi-Fi 6, GPS, and NFC. Here are our battery results with the standard PC Mark battery test benchmark and our own video loop test, which runs on a 1080p video at 50% brightness with zero volume and in airplane mode. As of making this video, we haven't gotten info about the official SRP of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus, but we're going to flash the entire variant lineup and the suggested detail prices on the screen right now. All in all, you can't go wrong with having the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus as your new daily driver. If you're someone who's into gaming and watching videos, consider grabbing this guy. But if you're someone who's into their detailed shots, likes to take zoomed-in photos and videos, and who gets bothered by smudges on their phone, you might not be interested in this. But hey, what do you guys think of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus? Are you gonna grab Redmi's latest flagship device? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video and found it informative, don't forget to hit that like button and turn the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And visit yugatech.com to see updated latest tech news and reviews. Again, I'm CJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!